Hi, this is Shadi and welcome back to another Jujutsu School video and in this video I'm gonna be talking about the Hontai Yoshin Ryu and try to see and speculate some of the most uh, famous historical narratives but before that I wanted to talk about something else I originally wanted to make this video about the Totsuka Yoshin Ryu and why specifically it's because the uh, Koryu that rivaled the Kodokan the most and it was in the police academy uh, I've talked about this story numerous times and uh, how it might be uh, mythical or half true and uh, how it might be just folklore in general but uh, it was one of the few schools that rivaled the, the Kodokan alongside the Takena Uchi Ryu Jujutsu and the Fosen Ryu Jujutsu so I started looking through multiple sources like koryu.com and many others and all I can find about the Totsuka was very little but it did say that this particular lineage um, it was the one that inspired the Tenshin Shinyu Ryu Jujutsu and uh, we can have a pretty clear idea that it's mainly grappling and particularly uh, throwing and standing uh, joint locks similar to Tenshin Shinyu Ryu Jujutsu. So uh, keep in mind the Yoshin Ryu uh, lineage is the first ever in Japan or one of the earliest uh, dating way back to 1632. It was founded by uh, Akiyama Shirobe and there it propagated into a multiple lineage. So you can have a Yoshin Ryu that's particularly striking. You can have a Yoshin Ryu that's particularly weapon oriented. Uh, grappling oriented or a mix of everything so and while doing my research I stumbled upon Hontai Yoshin Ryu and this is the one you are seeing here in front of you and it got me thinking the general narrative of Aikido is that Morihai Ueshiba learned Daitoryu and and they say multiple martial arts and Daitoryu, he refined it and thus it became Aikido. But looking at this, I can't help but think that this is 90% Aikido. There's also other videos of Hontai or Takagi Yoshinryu doing kata with the staff and the sword. Uh, one is striking, one is defending. Very similar to the stuff I used to do in Aikido and even the, the wear. So... It got me thinking, could it be another Kano-like endeavor of Morihai Ueshiba? Because if you look at this, this looks more like Aikido than Daitoryu looks like Aikido, if you are understanding what I'm saying. So, looking at this, it is possible that Morihai Ueshiba took this form of grappling and he combined it with his religious philosophy thus creating Aikido. Uh, similar to how we have uh, Jigoro Kano learning Jujutsu and he said, hey, this is not just for the thugs or the street uh, gangs. Uh, this is actually can be a part of an intellectual person's life. Uh, we can be intellectual on three levels, the physical, the intellectual, and also um, the moral. And thus it was called Kano Ryu or Kano Jujutsu uh, and then it became Judo the thing is is Jujutsu is the gentle art or gentle technique and Judo is gentle way as in a way of life and if and that's why we call Judo Judo because the stuff we have concerning education moral philosophy intellectual philosophy it, it all needs to translate outside the mat and thus becoming a way of life um, I believe that looking through this and trying to read a little bit that Morihai Yoeshiba tried to do the same but in a more religious philosoph philosophy but with the Hontai Yoshin Ryu because this is eerily similar to Aikido and I would encourage you to go and watch the full video it's like 30 minutes they also show you the kata 
um, and I did a video on, on Daitoryu uh, Aiki Jujutsu and it's not like this at all they they bend the shoulders backward and they put the leg in order to lock them and they step over their opponent and they strike them it's a much different art than this this is 95% Aikido and it got me thinking that could it be like another false narrative that we had learned like uh, uh, maybe the Totsuka uh, Kodokan thing is not real uh, Maeda never taught the Gracies um, the Gracies never invented leverage and ground grappling all these uh, very common narrative that we discuss maybe it can apply to Aikido as well and it's far from impossible because if these newer arts uh, have so much uh, hearsay in them then why not Aikido Aikido is not an exception and this is Ikkyo Ura by the way it's like 100% an Aikido technique um, this looks nothing like Daitoryu Aiki Jujutsu and keep in mind this is from 1660 this style of Jujutsu and uh, this lineage inspired the Takeda lineage however um, the Takeda came up with Daitoryu and as I mentioned it is far different so could it be that uh, Morihai Yoeshiba pulled a Kano slash Gracie on us it's very possible um, I would argue this is Aiki if I if I saw this I would say this they are doing Aikido and not or like a school of Aikido uh, minus the you know the, the, the spinning and the drawing the circles this is far more straight up Aikido this looks more like uh, Gozo Shiyoda's Aikido um, I don't know let me know what you think down below I would appreciate it if you gave an insight on this because uh, it looks the evidence uh, that how they say all the roads lead to Rome uh, you have someone that learned multiple martial arts he had a very strong philosophy and took an old martial art and applied that philosophy similar to Kano um, and I believe that this is the art uh, but you know you can refine it a bit you know maybe it'll be a bit more circular when it comes to movements etc but this still looks like Hontai Yoshinryu the one you see in front of you so again if you have anything else to add I would love to hear it share it down below if you have any sources of this or something some sort of writings also share it with me I've been looking through the internet all over the place um, the comment section is wide open this was Shandy and thank you for listening. Please enjoy the rest of this demonstration. Nukiuchi. <laughs>最初はゆっくりとその
次は面付きからの変化技同じく面当てからの変化技。次も面打ちからの変化技である。最後に出てくる取り付け技は十四代石谷武雄が使った豪遊取り付け今まで見てきたように本体養心流柔術は実践に即した技として伝承されている入り身天心の柔軟な身のこなし鋭く対決する一瞬の利合逆技から投げに入る瞬間の当て身または蹴り死闘は実に鮮やかである今年もまた日本武道館で行われた小武道演武大会本体養心流でございます。えー、この本体養心流もいわゆる柔術そして木立、えー、半棒などを使いました総合武術ですが敵を傷つけないで制する当てて殺して勝つで生かすという非常に特徴のある武術でございます。本体養心流柔術の技が数千の観客の目に強い印象を与えた一挙動でそして無手で敵を制する本体養心流柔術昨年はイタリーにも弟子たちを派遣して大好評を得たこの技を正しく受け継ぎ次に伝えようと日々精進を続ける皆木十七代宗家とともに本体養心流は今ここに健在である。うん